The curiosity of the mind knows no bounds. Everybody turn around. Just oh my God. Isn't that exciting? I love that too. What do you guys think? It's that kind of enthusiasm that Pamela Northam feeds off of when it comes to kids diving into science. You know her as the First Lady of Virginia, but before Northam stepped foot in the governor's mansion, she has been advocating for informal hands-on learning in STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math. 44%, almost half of children arrive at kindergarten unprepared with all the skills that they need. So we want to make sure that we're preparing all children to have the best experience in school they can to take advantage of experiences like this to really enrich their opportunities. Northam speaks from her own life experience. She grew up in Texas, spent half of her summers on the Gulf Coast, the other half in the hill country, learning about flora, fauna, and all living things around her. I was able to explore and climb and find arrowheads and nests of animals and take care of animals. So I really learned that that's where, you know, that really intimate connection, that intricate fabric of life where each creature is connected to another and each to their surroundings. Her love of science put her on a career path, first in pediatric occupational therapy, then teaching biology, and finally advocating for clean water and the health of the Chesapeake Bay. Let's see how many bottles the cow needs. 4,600 oh, bottles of water. 4,000 bottles? One. Wow, that's a lot of water, isn't it? The state's first lady is now pushing for a more equitable STEM education system for Northern Virginia, like the one here at the Science Museum of Virginia in Richmond. The flagship institution is filled with hundreds of exhibits, robotic and life animals, a place where students from across the state can come to prepare for jobs in the 21st century and beyond. It's where budding entomologists, those are you know all about. Those are honeybees, animators, it looks like it's moving. Are those horses really running? No. Computer programmers, go, buddy. Oh, oh, got you, bed. Go, 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 go. Even cooks and chefs. One, two, three. Mm. Mm. They don't taste like anything. Oh, it's like a sunflower. Good. Can learn science, technology, engineering, and math in a fun and non traditional way. Go! See if you're fast as an alligator. Northern believes bringing a world class science center to Loudoun County will not only give students from all walks of life the ability to explore STEM in a creative environment, but prepare them to compete in an ever changing yeah. job market, especially girls. And we want to make sure that we have that workforce pipeline from our youngest children through to careers. Are you having fun? You gonna go be a scientist someday? Yes, I love that. Because we know uh, girls outperform boys in STEM, you know, early learning, and yet we have this shift in, in what they are willing to take in science kinds of classes. So we know if we can really empower those young women early, then they'll take those courses and do great with them. And girls, we push them to be perfect. And so we really need to change that mindset a little bit of saying, hey, this is great. Take a chance. You never know where you'll go. This science museum has been operational for about 40 years. The new science center coming to Northern Virginia is going to be about a third of the size, but it is going to serve 300,000 visitors per year, serving all of Northern Virginia. It's going to have incredible exhibits inside, but also in the outdoors. So making sure that families can walk through there have that healthy outdoor experience themselves to connect and spend time together, but also to begin to understand why this environment is so important and why we have to work so hard to preserve it. The build-up to the new Science Center has been more than a decade, starting with a grassroots movement of a traveling museum on wheels to its present location at the Fair Oaks Mall. The long-awaited project will be a reality once the final funding is secured. All the challenges that we're facing in our future, we want to make sure that we bring all these bright brains to, to really help us with this. And so that starts early, and that starts with everyone.